This has been one of the worst weeks for, of 2023 so far in terms of anti-LGBTQ bills becoming law in states across America. Three anti-LGBTQ laws have been enacted so far this week in Kansas, Indiana, and Idaho. Just yesterday, the North Dakota Senate passed 10 anti-LGBTQ bills in just one day, a single day record. In Kansas, the state legislation overrode Governor Kelly's veto to make Kansas the 20th state that has banned transgender kids from participating in schools sports. With the enactment of a new law in Indiana, 14 states have now banned gender affirming health care while some of these laws are currently blocked by courts. This is a dangerous, a dangerous attack on the rights of parents to make the best health care decisions for their own kids. According to the Human Rights Campaign, more than 50% of transgender youth in the U.S., which is estimated to be more than 150,000 kids, live in states in which transgender youth have lost access to or at risk of losing access to gender-affirming care. Look, this is awful news. Let's be very clear about that. LGBTQI plus kids are resilient. They are fierce. They fight back. They're not going anywhere. And we have their back. This administration has their back. We are so proud of the kids across this country who have organized protests and school walkouts to tell the politicians in their states to stop this legislative bullying. I know that these political attacks can really take toll on people's mental health. So I want to say directly to LGBTQI plus kids, you are loved just as you are just the way you are. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, you call 988, the National Crisis Hotline, and dial the number three to talk to a counselor who has been specifically trained to support LGBTQI plus kids. This is a new service that the Biden administration is proud to offer during these incredibly hard times for these trans kids.